me here today. I have a 45 minute full body hit plan for you. There is gonna be strength and cardio all standing. I have a few sets of weights. I just have eights and twelves today, but you can get out a variety so that you can adjust your weight according to the exercise. We're gonna do 15 exercises twice through. 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Let's do it. We're gonna start with the warm-up. Just march in place. Make sure you have room to move right and left. So clear the water bottles and dumbbells out of the way. Fan both arms up, inhale. Step tap, right, left, reach, pull. Tap, tap. Warm it up. Put a little bend in those knees. Just reach your arms forward, pull it back. Waking up the shoulders. Same legs, reach overhead. Reach, pull. So a good warm up. This is gonna use all your planes of motion. You're gonna bring your heart rate up. Your blood pump in. Beautiful. Okay, let's do some triceps. Reach and tap. Just tricep. Tap your toe. Squeeze the back of your arm. I have a lot of combo moves planned for you today, which means you're gonna use a lot of oxygen. Your heart rate's gonna get elevated. So it's gonna be a sweaty one. All right, elbow to knee. Twist. Twist. Just move the way you move here. Warming things up. Limber up that spine. Good. Four. Three. All right, let's squat it down. And lift. Body weight squat. Down and up. I'm gonna turn diagonal. You can stay face forward. Check that. Your knees and toes are on the same line. A little lower with each squat. Good. We're going to squat. Right knee. Squat. Knee. Left knee. So a little extension there at the top. Knee. Sorry, I have this big bruise on my thigh. I ran it too much. <laughs> All right. Hamstrings. Not lying, I swear. <laughs> One of the facilities I work at, I was cleaning, and I just ran into it. <laughs> All right, let's double it up. Two hamstrings, two. Switch it, go two. Lift. Lift. Try to point your kneecap down. Hold the heel up. One more. All right, let's just twist it left and right. Twist and cross. Reach that arm. You're sweeping off a table. Now overhead, side stretch. Feet nice and wide. Good. Back to your twist. Rotate. A little deeper. Now overhead, stretch it, bicep by your ear. Beautiful. Four, three. Do some side lunges. Side lunge and switch, side lunge. Okay, one more each side, and then you're gonna start thinking about what weight you wanna use for a single leg, single arm, deadlift row. Okay, I'm gonna get my 12 for this one. Start my workout. Okay, so I'm grabbing a 12 with my right hand, left leg's a balanced leg, soften your knee, shoulders down your back, you're gonna hinge. Let's go, so it's a row. Push down, stand up. Hinge, row. Levels here, okay? It's a whole minute, but if you want to, you can lift your back leg. <laughs> I might keep my back leg as a kickstand for round one. And then round two, I may consider picking it up. So hinge, row. This arm is just there for balance. You can have it on your thigh or your hip if that feels better. Try to fight the urge. Let the weight twist you. Stay as square as you can. We are asymmetrically loaded. One hand has the weight. The other hand is just stabilizing. You get a 15 second break between sides. Coming up here soon. And rest. <laughs> Switch it out, other side. Now, I'll be honest, I probably could have gone with 15s. I'm really sore though. <laughs> so, yes, 
rest when you're sore. I'm being a bad example. Other leg, other arm, shoulders down. Here we go. Two, one. I would rest, but I haven't made a video in a while, so I was like, oh, I really want to make one before before the life starts again next week. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll just use lighter weight. Use a little more like a cardiovascular workout for me, but you can absolutely pick up heavier weights and make this a little more strength and less endurance. This is a long interval, one minute. Really is endurance. if you want to. Add your balance, your choice. Make sure your front knee is soft. Push it to all four corners of that front foot. Push down to rise up. And rest. Nice work. Grab your second heavy weight. Our next move is a combo. It's a squat with a hammer curl. Choose a weight that you can hammer curl for a whole minute. Feet are about shoulder distance. Here we go, suitcase squat. Hammer curl. Pick those suitcases up off the floor. We haven't quite got to the sweaty part yet. <laughs> we will. So I have some cardio intervals. <laughs> kind of just dispersed throughout this 15 exercises that there are some exercises that are designed just to get your heart rate up and burn some calories right now in the moment and when you do a combo move like arms plus legs and your strength you might get into your cardio zone on your heart rate when you're using a lot of muscles which means you're using a lot of oxygen Hear me, I'm breathing heavy. Here it comes. Come on, get another one in. Rest. Beautiful. I'm going to put down one heavy. Just keep a single for this one. You can either do like a diamond, hold the head of the dumbbell, or you can hold the fat part of the dumbbell. Heels it out, heels and toes out. We're going to plie it and tricep extend together. Combo move here. I'm going to show you the other grip option. If this suits your shoulders better, feel free to hold the dumbbell in a different way. Whole minute here. Nice wide stance. Ooh, you're almost halfway. Keep going. don't have to be on the feet, but you can if you like it. It's an interval workout, so we're not counting reps. We're not matching the music unless you want to. It's really about working for the amount of time that is set aside to work. They're not long reps. 15 seconds is just enough time to switch exercises, really, and rest. <laughs> Set up a little obstacle course here. So you're going to take your two weights, your two bigger weights, Set up a little obstacle course here. All right, we're gonna go over them like a tire jog. Ready? In, in, out, out. Option, low impact. Make sure you fully clear the weight every time. If you're gonna hop these, land soft. Tire jog, right? A little pump with your arms. Keep going. Let's go a little faster. A little faster. In, in, out, out. Looks like you're running in and out of tires. You yeah, look down, sure. I want you to be safe and not land on your weights. <laughs> so be aware of where you place them. A little agility there. Come on, almost done. Get a couple more. And rest. Water, if you need it. We're gonna keep our little obstacle course set up here. Cardio interval two, coming up. So 
side shuffle. Start a squat. Touch the weight. Shuffle. Touch the weight. Let's go. So the little shuffle, like you're on the basketball court. Playing defense, okay? Defense. Quick feet. Low impact option. Step the other step. Squat for the weight. Just tap it. Use those legs. Almost halfway. Good news is we're going to go to upper body after this interval. So your heart rate will come back down. Come on, load the hips. Soft on your knees. Light landings, right? Hey. Do it for you. For tomorrow, you. And rest. Whew. Move those weights out of the way. You're going to need a light weight next. One light. I'm going to grab an eight. Right hand. Left leg in front. Hand on your thigh for support. A straight back. Here we go. Reach it back. Slow lower. Reach it back. Slow lower. Okay, so if you want to, you can bring your elbow to your thigh. Or you can hold on to a bench or chair for support. So just to keep your spine in alignment. Also working the leg if you're in this lunge. Oh boy. Working the back. Tricep, posterior deltoid. Go nice and slow. So rather than swinging the weight, which would be easy, move slow. It's harder. Promise. There's always a point in every video I film where I go, did I push record? Or am I just, just working out for myself here? <laughs> come on, come on. Two. One. Go ahead and place that weight down. You're going to keep your left leg in front. Same leg. Don't switch on me. Don't switch on me. Just tap in and out. A little cardio. Leg work. <laughs> Here it comes. Two. And on. Pump that knee. Stay low. Whole minute here. There you go. So don't switch legs because I want to really fatigue this leg here. You are just holding the isometric lunge for the straight backs. Now I want you to kind of pulse it out. Drive that knee. I mean, hey, it wouldn't be the worst thing. It has happened before where I thought I hit record. Didn't work out. Nothing <laughs> was on my phone. <laughs> That's okay. I needed to work out that day anyway. <laughs> now I have trust issues with my iPhone. Come on. Holy cow. That leg should be talking to you. You can always slow it down if you need to. Not if you want to. Only if you need to. Four. Three. Two. And woo! Thank goodness. We're going to switch legs. Shake it out. Left leg. Sorry. Right leg in front. Left hand holds the weight. So you're going to be on a nice lunge stance. Your fresh leg, hand or elbow. Sweep it back. Straight back. So hit stands for high intensity interval training. But the truth is, this could be whatever intensity you need it to be. If you need to go slower, smaller, and take breaks, you can. This could be medium intensity. It could be low intensity, but it is interval training. <laughs> Always your workout. Own it, own it. Fight the urge to swing the weight, okay? Because that is just easy, that's momentum. Slow it down. Work the back of that arm. Low in your front leg. It helps if you look down on the floor. Kind of steady yourself here. Rest. Put that weight down. Stay on your right leg, okay? Don't switch legs. We got the lunge knee. I'm going to go diagonal. You can stay forward, whatever works for you. 
Start to set it up. Here we go. Three, two, let's hit the gas. In and out, in and out. Pump those arms. Now remember, you have options. You can top this and go slower. But let's work as much as you can. Go for that high intensity. Because that's where you get a lot of afterburn effects. Where you burn more calories after the workout's over. So if you can get to that spot where you are breathless, you're in a high intensity spot for you, it's different for everyone, that's gonna follow you. After the workout, you're gonna keep consuming more oxygen than you were before the workout. It's called EPOC. I'm sure you heard of it. <laughs> and it does translate to a little more calorie burn, even at rest, for the whole day after. Two. Light weights. One for each hand. We're gonna do a lateral raise, upright raise. Shoulder work here. Give your legs a break. They need it. Here we go. Upright, and then a lateral. Out to the side. I'm gonna turn a little diagonal. You're gonna zip up your middle, and then lateral. Knuckles up. Now I'm gonna find the beat. You don't have to do it on the beat. Do whatever pace works. So your shoulders, your deltoids, top of the arm right where they meet your torso. That's where we're focusing here. Whatever tempo you want, you can lighten your load. You can even do this with no weight. And you'll still get a benefit, especially if you are just beginning your exercise journey. Because yes, it's a journey. You're never gonna just arrive at fitness, be boom, I'm done. It's a journey. And rest, okay. I'm gonna go heavier, it's a bicep to urinal press. Feel free to keep your lighter if you need it. So palms forward, elbows into the ribs, shoulders down your back. You're gonna curl and then overhead press. Ready, go. Now, if you catch your back arching, kick stand one foot behind you. Try to keep your nice long spinal position. Are we sweating yet? I am. Although I did, I did put lotion on. I said that always makes you sweatier. So I'm like, maybe it's not as sweaty as I think it is. Exhale as you pull it up, push it away. Sneak in a little rotation there. Sneak it in, right? Hup. Come on. You're almost through with the first round. And there's only two rounds. That's a big deal. Be proud of yourself, you made it this far. Make sure you hit like or whew, rest. Go ahead and keep your heavies. Like or subscribe or share, comment. Help me out with the algorithm if you're doing this workout. Be proud of yourself if you are. Announce it. Okay, we got a right leg reverse lunge and then abduct to the side. Ready? Here we go. Reverse lunge, side lift. Find your balance. I just put the weights on my traps, my shoulders, so that way I'm loading the spine. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can hold them in your hands like this. I was just trying to give your shoulders a break. What won't really work probably is weights by your sides because you need room to lift your leg to the side. Halfway. Oh, well, I know what you can do. Comment if you got sweaty during this workout at this point or if that's just me being in Arizona with lotion on my arms and legs. <laughs> Woo. Come on, 10 seconds. Remember your why. And rest. Guess what's next? You got it. Side two. You gotta do the other leg, okay? 
keep the same weight unless you have a reason to do a lighter weight on the other side. Ready? Go. Reverse lunge. Side right. What's a reason why you might do a lighter weight on one leg versus the other? If you're rehabbing an injury. Or maybe you have a very, very specific you know, situation that you were born with. Reason why you can't do it the same weight on both sides. Customize, of course. This is your workout. I'll always be saying that. Even though I'm doing this by myself right now, you might be doing it by yourself right now. So your best competition is yesterday you. Come on, come on. I know we ran out of music, but you're not out of time yet. Reverse lunge, balance, lift it up. You're almost there. And rest. Place those two heavy weights together in the center of your space. Okay, that's your target. You're gonna jump rope, tap toes onto the weights, and then you're gonna hit the weights or reach for them for four. We'll try to do all the music. Ready? Start with the taps. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach down, hit the weights. Four, three, two, jump rope. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach down, lunge it out. Jump rope, circle the arms. Eight, seven. Lunge for the floor. Four, three, two, jump rope. Tap that weight. Reach down, I'm gonna go other leg first. <laughs> Just to trick you, jump rope. Lunge. This could be low impact, feel free. You just marched for four, right? And then tap for two. That'll work also. Keep going. Lunge. Jump rope. Lunge. Woo. Rest. <laughs> that was round one. Don't go anywhere. Get a sip of water. Round two is coming up. Grab your heavier weight. We're gonna leave with the other side first. Left arm, right leg. Hinge, row, stand up. And I know I made a promise that I was gonna try to balance on the second round. So, here goes nothing. Ooh, that's tough. Once again, <laughs> you do you. I'm gonna try the balance. You can see I'm wobbling. My ankle muscles, my stability muscles are being challenged. Pick a spot on the floor, stare at it. She fell. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> You're gonna really feel the glute and that front leg. Come on, finish this side, finish it strong. And rest. Side two, switch hands. Once again, same weight, unless you have a reason to do a lighter weight on one side, like an injury. Here we go, shoulders down the back, we hinge, and go. Hinge, row, stand up. If you feel so inclined, you can pick up that back leg, like if you made any promises that you would try to balance on round two. <laughs> I was writing checks. I can't cash. <laughs> I do recommend for balance exercises that you don't do it on a nice squishy surface like carpets. <laughs> that you find a hardwood floor somewhere in your house or tile. Something a little more sturdy for you to really press all four corners of your standing foot into you. Because I'm so unstable here in these shoes on this surface, it starts to compromise my form. I do like a good challenge though. Rest. Woo. Okay, grab your second heavy weight. Suitcase squat with a hammer curl. 
Choose a weight that challenges you. By the end of this minute, you're gonna be glad it's over, okay? Feet wide, here we go. Two, one, and curl. Like wider than your hips, but not quite sumo stance. Toes are still trained forward. Your knees are lining with that same line. See if you can iron out any weird, clunky form things. Like, I just caught myself doing a little cheat on my bicep. So I'm gonna try to smooth that out here. And really use the bicep for our muscle. To pick the weight up to the shoulder. A really common squat thing that I see is too much pitching here. Try to keep your chest up, your eyes up, so that you can look in the mirror. If you were looking in the mirror, I should do this. See your face the whole time. Rest. Woo. One heavy weight. Just one. You can either hold it with that diamond grip, or you can hold either side. Heels in, toes out, sumo stance. Here we go. And down and up. You got a sumo or a plie with a tricep extension. Fight for stronger you right now. It's worth fighting for. And if you don't do it, who will? Other grip. <laughs> Elbows hug in. Don't let them flare out. Mine are starting to flare. Try your best. Come on. Try to keep the head right over the spine. So no tuck in the chin. Holy cow. My triceps are on fire. Thank God. Okay. All right. Great. Grab your two weights. Set up a nice little obstacle course for yourself here. As wide or as narrow as you want. We're gonna jog in and out of the tires here. Let's go. High knee jog. Tire run. Low impact option, march, march. Over. Do you, okay? You're not competing with me. If you're beating me, hey, good job. I'm not competing with you. <laughs> I'm competing with me. Never quit, never quit. Modify, swear, but don't quit. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, get through it. Now, some of you, might have set up your obstacle course a little bit more narrow or a little bit wider. Go you if you did. Almost there. Rest. Woo. Water if you need it. We got side shuffles. Starting to squat on one side. Basketball time. Eyes up, chest up. Ready to go. Ready to receive a pass, right? Touch the weight. If you really want to work these, put the weights on opposite ends of the room and shuffle all the way across the room. Load those legs. You're going to bend your knees and sit back like there's a chair behind you. Just tap your butt to that chair. It's okay. This is low impact. And you're not quite touching the weight. You're stepping together, step. Totally fine. Good news is, we're headed to a single arm move after this. She's gonna use less oxygen. We got the straight back with a lighter weight. Two, one, rest. Move those heavy weights out of the way. Try to keep your head above your heart. 
use your legs. One, medium to light weight. Let's go left arm first. Left leg back, right knee bent. Here we go. Sweep it back. Sweep it back. So I know I promised you that this was gonna bring your heart rate down. It will, but maybe not right away. <laughs> and get in the back of the room. Try to keep your wrist fairly neutral. So nothing weird happening at the wrist joint here. Elbow soft. Halfway. And it's only two rounds. So this is the second round, baby. You're in the final stretch. You didn't come this far, you only come this far. We're staying on this leg. Sorry, I know it burns. <laughs> Stay low in that front lunge. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and rest, put the weight down, but stay on this leg. So you were just in this lunge position. Now you're staying front. We got the knee drive, low as you want. You can even have your hand on your thigh if you need it. Ready, set, go. So options here, slow it down, hand on the thigh, you could tap, or you could knee strike. Pump it on the beat of the music, work those arms. Get lower in that leg. Ooh, I just thought of another way to make it harder. Get deeper, oh, oh my gosh. Halfway. You're stronger than you know. So don't quit. Don't quit on you. Each workout that you put in is really like a vote for your identity. A person who takes care of themselves, cares about their health, their longevity. Come on. And rest. <laughs> Side two, grab a weight with your right hand. Same weight that you did with the left hand, okay? Set yourself up in that lunge position. Other leg in front, you're gonna know which leg it is for sure. Here we go, chest lifted, sweep it back, and then move a little lower. Make sure that it's your second leg in front now. If you just did the last two intervals with me, you cannot mistake which leg needs to be in front. <laughs> I notice I am able to generate more power, lift a heavier weight with better form when I really start with my core. Thinking about hugging my ribs together, but not rounding my shoulders forward, standing up tall. You're over halfway, come on, finish this. Almost there, and we are gonna stay on this leg. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and rest, put the weight down. Keep the same leg in front that you just did the sweep backs, okay? We're either tapping, or hands on thigh, whatever you got, we're lunging and moving. Here it comes, set it up, and go. So you have this option, you have a slow down version with hands on the thigh, or you could run the arms. Or you could reach for the floor. Woo -hoo. That is tough. You do you. Think about how proud you are gonna be when this workout is over. When you gave it your best, you're covered in sweat. That's a feeling of accomplishment that you just can't buy. You gotta earn that. I think that's why people who exercise tend to report having better feelings of well-being, better feelings of self-confidence, because you prove to yourself you can. Come on, two and one. Oh, good news. Two lightweights. 
upright row lateral raises keep your head above your heart because you are winded try to use your legs pick up those weights i want you to get dizzy or lightheaded let's go Tailbone down. Now I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit. You don't have to. You keep these slow. But I'm just gonna a little quicker to match the beat because I like it. A good option to make it a little easier. One arm at a time. Feel free. Do whatever shoulder combination is called your name, baby. Over halfway. Now at the end of these intervals, don't click away from the video, okay? I'm gonna include some stretching at the end. Flexibility is so important, and it happens all the time in live classes. People will just leave for that part, rest, <laughs> get your heavier weights. And it's just because maybe they're busy or they don't understand the importance. Stick around, stick around. I promise you it's going to pay off. Bicep, Arnold press. Shoulders down your back. Here we go. Option. Let's do a little kickstand with one foot. Especially if your back feels like it's going to arch when you press over your head. So consistency name, is going to give you better again. results when you than extremes. Name, I go crazy you don't have to be doing burpee junkie, jumping jacks, one-arm push-ups. This is amazing. Strength and cardio moves. Name, you're going to see a benefit again. if you stick when with you it. If you're consistent, name, you'll see the benefit. I go crazy, cause I can't escape. Those when you call little tiny name, improvements, when you, call my name, you add them up. You can see them. You can feel them. Workout when you pick up a heavier weight, when you walk up those stairs and you're not tired, rest. Woo. Okay, keep your heavy weights. I'm gonna put mine down just to get a sip of water. We have a reverse lunge side raise with your leg. Okay, so let's do the left leg first. Ah, hurry! First lunge and then side raise. Oh, yeah, put them up here. <laughs> I hope that I put a preview window in so you're not messed up like me. Turn a little diagonal. You keep going. Pick a spot on the floor to stare at as your focal point. Almost halfway. You can do this body weight too. You're still going to see a benefit here. Body weight squats and lunges are excellent. They're functional. Because what weight do you move around all day? Your body, right? <laughs> so being exceptional on that is a great skill. Woo come on, finish it. One bonus one. That was late, that's why I did bonus one. Other side, okay? Other leg. Right leg reverse lunge. Side leg raise. Same weight. Here we go, and on. So as I'm filming this, it is a Sunday, and I am prepping for a week ahead. That Monday, the Monday blues. <laughs> they haven't set in yet. But I'm gonna start it off strong. Pushing my body, finding my limit, maybe sinking a little deeper. I think you're over halfway. And the good news is, there's only one more move in your circuit today. Finish strong. Ooh, fast song came on. That's good. Oh, come on. Put those weights together. Click 
both ways together. We got eight jump rope taps, and then four, hit the weight, lunge out to the side. Set it up. Ready? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lunge. Down, down. Do it again. Eight jump rope. Eight, seven, six, five. Lunge down. Four, three, jump rope. I'm alternating my leads. You don't have to. Jump rope. You can do whatever leg first works for you. The point here, heart rate up. Light on those toes. Reach down. Four, three, jump rope. Circle those arms. Lunge it, you can hop or step. Jump rope, here's the low impact option. Four taps, two lunges. Do it, come on, let's go. And done! <laughs> nice work. Stick around for the cool down. Roll your shoulders up and back. And then go the other way. Beautiful. Let's take the right hand to your hips, sweep the left arm up, ribs to the sky, side bend here. Switch it, other side, hand to hip, lengthen up. So if you're like me and you just finished that hit, your heart rate's still elevated. Come on up, press your right heel back, half stretch. So really reach your heel for the floor, right arm up overhead, pat on the back, job well done. You can push it or pull it. Whatever feels better for you. Head back into your forearm. Excellent release. Step in and switch legs. So left leg back. Heel heavy for the floor. Stretch out the calf. So if you made it this far in the video, hey, you are a VIP. Thank you for staying for the cool down push or pull. hit the workout with me please let me know somehow hit like or comment done yes I got sweaty good release it go ahead and bring your feet nice and wide right arm over to the opposite shoulder stretching out the shoulders and then switch other side maybe let me know give me some feedback if you like interval workouts, if you want more all standing workouts, please step on your left leg. See if you can catch your right shoe. Hold it for a quad stretch. Thigh muscles, stretch them out. Excellent. The same leg. Go ahead and kick it forward. Heel down, toe up. Send your tail feathers back. So you're going to hinge forward, hands on your opposite thigh for support. Stretching out your hamstring. And you try to keep a nice long back, long neck. Woo, I'm sweaty. Slowly drag that foot in, roll it up. Cat roll to the top, switching sides. Shoelaces, catch them. Quad stretch. <laughs> As I fall, hopefully you have a little more stability than me. Get out, same leg, heel down, toe up. I'm gonna turn to the side here. You're gonna just send your tail feathers back. Bow, stretch your hips. So I like that it kind of ticks two boxes at once. We got cardio and strength in the same workout. And now we're getting flexibility if you stay for the end. Drag that foot in, hands on your thighs. Cat stretch, chin to chest, tuck your belly. Reverse it, lift up, look up, ground. One more, roll it all the way to the top on this one. Head up last. Circle those shoulders. Separate your feet nice and wide here. Big breath in. And then exhale. Thank you so much for being here today. I will see you in the next one.